we're going to start here. Okay. All right, so you just get yourself in a nice, uh, comfortable position to start with. Come onto your knees, or if you want to sit on a chair for this, you can if it's more comfortable. And you're going to get your band, and all you're going to do to start with is come back. Oh, look how dodgy my arms are. <laughs> and coming forward. So you're just going to be coming back and coming forward, and you're going to be going with your breath. So you're going to be inhaling and exhaling. And you're just going to let your body just start to slow down with a bit of movement. So you inhale and bring it back and then exhale and bring it down, bring it back. So we're opening out our chest and then you come in and as you go into it, push out your back. So you're pushing your back into the move. So you're opening and then down. So when you're doing this, if you feel comfortable to do so, Close your eyes, so you're inhaling and exhaling. And you're just letting your body start to relax and start to engage with your breath. So it takes a few moments to kind of get into it and let your body just settle down. And then release the band down and pop your hands onto your legs and you're just gonna raise your shoulders up, inhale, and then exhale, take your shoulders down. So inhale, take your shoulders up, exhale, and take your shoulders down. That's it. So inhale and exhale. Okay, this time you're going to inhale and take your shoulders right up and back. Inhale, shoulders up, and take them back. And then start to increase the movement. It might feel a bit clicky. So anyone who's just joined, we've only just started and we're just starting by mobilizing our body. So to start with, we do dynamic stretches, which are moving stretches, just warming our bodies up and then we start holding the stretches for longer. So now I want you to move your shoulders in a big circle, as big as you can. So you're trying to work the shoulder joint and then you take it the other way. It's so coming around and back. That's it. And then go a little bit quicker with the movement and just really releasing off those shoulders and then come the other way again, coming up and around. And just to release there, take a deep breath in, feel your chest rise and then come down. So you can put your hand on your chest and just a couple of breaths here. So deep breath in, engage with that breath and let the breath go. One more, inhale, and out. So then slowly take your head to the side, put your hand on your head, and I'm just gently stretching out my neck here. So I'm inhaling, as I'm exhaling, I'm trying to increase into that stretch a bit more. So inhaling, and exhaling. And once more, inhale, and exhale and roll your neck around to the front and take it to the other side. And it's just really gently, you're inhaling and exhaling, inhaling and exhaling, inhaling and exhaling. And then you're just gonna let your head roll to the side and roll to the other side. So you're coming to the front and coming to the side. And while I'm doing this, my shoulders are staying relaxed, they're staying low. I'm not going all the way back, I'm just coming to the front and coming to the side. So our neck and our shoulders can get really tight because we hardly ever mobilize our neck and our shoulders. And it's just trying to take them around that range of movement. So use your inhale as you come one way and your exhale as you go the other way and really focus on your breath. So your breath is what's gonna help you relax. And with your exhale, you're trying to really go into that stretch a little bit more. So another one on each side, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. And just bring it back to your shoulders. So you're squeezing round, opening up those shoulders again. I've got it. Oh. 
<laughs> okay, now you're gonna bring your hands all the way up and you're gonna reach up and you're gonna to come to the side and then come to the middle. Come to the side and then come to the middle. Come to the side, then come to the side. So inhale and then exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. And then this hand, you're gonna push over to the side and we're gonna keep moving. So you come to the middle, hand out, and then come over. So as I come into this side stretch, my opposite hip is driving down to the floor. And I'm just trying to mobilize and open out my muscles. So I'm meeting in the middle, coming down and coming over. Meeting in the middle, coming down and coming over. Meet in the middle, coming down and coming over. One more each side, and then we're gonna develop this. So we did this, so it here last time. <laughs> and uh, I know my mum's doing this, and doing quite like this one. So this one, if you don't like this one, just carry on with the shoulders we're doing before. So my legs are a bit like a Z, and I'm gonna sweep round. Those that know this one can start. So you sweep round and squeeze up, and then you come round, and you've got a stretch on the other side. So my legs are a bit like a Z. They're coming down, and I'm just coming, doing a stretch up on one side. Then I bring my hips back down, and I come down, and I stretch over. So I inhale as I come up, and I hold that breath, and then I bring my hips down, sweep around, and then I grab that leg on the opposite and come to the other side. So it's a really nice movement, and some of you might want to make that movement a bit more sweep, sweepy coming down, and you can probably feel yourself able to go into that movement a little bit more. If this movement doesn't feel comfortable, come back, and do the shoulder stretch, the side stretch here to here, and do your shoulders. Okay, so another couple this side. So when I'm up here, I'm trying to stretch out, and I'm coming right round. It's a really nice stretch as you get used to it, and you get into it. And then come to the other side. So start with your feet, knees here, and then come down. So I'm sweeping round, squeezing up, and then I'm coming round. So I'm mobilizing my body. I'm making it work in different ways than it usually would. And we want our body to work in different planes of movement. So you're inhaling, and then you're exhaling. Then you're inhaling and then you're exhaling. You can really push up and open up your hips in this here. And coming down. And just bring your hand, your, your um, legs in front of you and you're just gonna rock your hips side to side. Just rock your hips side to side. Just opening up your hips there. Okay, right, coming onto your fours. So we're going to mobilize our back. You're going to be coming up into a front support. You're going to come down into kind of your guess into an upward dog, pushing your shoulders and back into downward. So you're coming down. So we're, this is mobilization. So I'm pushing my shoulders back, driving my hips into the floor and then coming up. To make it easier, you come down to here, wherever you feel comfortable, and you can always just come back on your knees. You don't have to be going up into downward dog, and you just play with the movement. Play with the movement where you can feel your body moving and your body mobilizing. If you want to come up into downward dog, you can. And now again, it's all about that breath. So stay in each position, about three to five seconds, and then coming up. So it should feel nice. I'm pushing my shoulders back as I come down, looking up. You can wiggle your hips around to get into the movement and come up. And then you're just gonna stay down here in this position and you're just gonna breathe. 
Just inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And if you can again, inhale and exhale. Now come back on your knees. Take your knees out and you're going to sink into a child's pose. And you're just going to lie there, put your head on the floor and sink down and hold it there for a count of 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Coming up, keep your knees out and you're going to come forward. So it's a, this is called a dynamic frog stretch. So you're coming forward, opening into your hips and coming down. Now I have really tight hips. I'm not actually the best at doing this. You come down and then coming up and over. Sit. One more. Up and over. That's it. And then come back down into your child's pose. And relax down there. Taking a deep breath in and out. Take a deep breath in. And out. And then coming up and put your knees together and then start to sink your back up and down for a cat cat. So we're still mobilizing our body, making our body move and stretch at the same time. So I'm sinking my back down, I'm inhaling and then exhaling, inhaling and exhaling, inhaling and exhaling. Okay, next one we're going to go into a pigeon, but a moving pigeon. So you come into a front support. So your leg is sweeping forward. So this heel wants to come up as far as you can to your opposite hip, but it's a moving pigeon. So you come in into the stretch, you hold it for a few seconds, and then you come up and you switch sides. So you're sinking into your glute, sinking into the inside of your leg, and you're letting your leg move in and out of the stretch. So you're not holding it for that long. We're just moving it, but still feeling the tension. And then the next one, you are going to just hold it there in the pigeon. And you're just going to be sitting here. So wiggle your back leg back a little bit. See if you can come into the stretch a bit more. Up on your hands. And then if you're ready, come down onto your elbows and then if you're ready again you come down to lying. If you want to have a cushion, if it's too far to come down you can have a cushion or two or three or four so it's comfy and just lie in that position there and feel the stretch of your glute and of your inside leg. So inhale and exhale and hold it there for eight Seven, you can wiggle your hips around side to side. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. And change side. So coming up and over. So again, again, I'm trying to bring this leg further up. I'm wiggling my back leg back. And then coming down from sit to elbow. And then lie down if you feel comfortable. If you don't feel comfortable, just stay up in this position here. And let yourself relax down there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And come up and take it back to your cat cow, coming up and coming down. Coming up and coming down. And then back to a dynamic frog. So coming back and coming forward. So inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So see if you can go back that little bit further and then come forward 
that a little bit further. If it hurts at all, bring your knees in a bit more. So it's not so pressure. So if you want to, take your knees further out to get more into the stretch. And then bring them in and back down, coming down and then coming back up. Coming down and coming back up. So here, this is uncomfortable here. You could come down onto your elbows, holding it here and then coming back to your knees. So you want to go to wherever you feel comfortable with this position and then hold it a little bit longer in each position for about six seconds and use that inhale of your breath and the exhale to go into the stretch. As you're up in the downward dog, try and lift your hips up and start to get your heels to drive down to the floor so we're starting to wake our calves up as well at the same time. It should feel a nice opener. And then next time you're up, come up and we're going to start walking our calves. So if you come up to the positions, your hips are in the air, your hands are on the floor. If this hurts your wrists, you could do it from standing, coming up to here if you wish. On here, we're going to do a walking calf stretch. So you're walking your heels in towards your chest. You're driving your heels down to the floor. So as I come down, I'm pushing my knee back and I'm feeling the stretch in my calf. That's it. And then keep one heel down and you're going to do a whole inhale and exhale and then change over a whole inhale and exhale. Sit and walk back in a little bit more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Go a bit longer in each of those calves. Really try and squeeze those calves out. And then relax it down and just come and wiggle out your back. So take your hips from side to side to release that lower back. That's it, well done. So we're gonna come down onto our back and lie down here, my favorite. So you come here, bring your arms out here and to the side. So you're gonna go from one side to the other side. So you can just go two legs, at the same time, or you can be a bit more bringing it over. And my top leg is coming over to try and increase the stretch. That's it. And I'm exhaling as well with this stretch. So this is a lovely stretch for your back. It's a really nice mobiliser for your back. You might find your black back is clicking a little bit. And then take it to one side and just let your body relax there. Take a deep breath in and exhale and stay in that stretch. Now close your eyes and let your body just relax into that stretch. Feel your back soften. You can always put your hand on your top thigh to try and increase the stretch. Trying to wiggle your shoulders around, see if you can get both shoulders on the floor. Doesn't matter if your top leg starts to come up. And then again, put some pressure on that top leg. You can lengthen it by taking your leg away from your body. And just relax there for four, three, two, one. Bring yourself into a tuck position and just rock out that stretch. So when you're doing these stretches, you don't want to overstretch. It doesn't want to hurt, but you should feel it. Feel those stretches start to lengthen your muscles. And take it to the other side. And again, let your body just relax in that position. So during the day, our muscles shorten from when we wake up to go to bed. Our muscles shorten every single day, no matter what we're doing, which is what affects our posture. So we're not always going to stretch and mobilise every day, but it's good to have a longer stretching session now and again, just to try and align those muscles, lengthen those muscles. 
mobilize the joints. And then take it back into a tuck and just squeeze those legs in. And we're just going to rock back and forth. Nice. Okay, from here you need a towel or a band for a line hamstring stretch. So I'm going to take, I've got my band. You can have one foot on the floor if you want to have it risen up, you can do, it's up to you. And my foot is in the air. My heel is driving up to the ceiling. My hip is on the floor. My um, leg is straight, but I don't want you to put it under undue pressure. It might be, you can only get your leg to here. You want to go wherever you feel comfortable. Um, it might be your leg is right up over there. So you want to be able to feel the tension on the back of your leg. So you're going to inhale and as you exhale, you're going to be increasing the stretch. And then as you uh, inhale, you're going to release. So if you just come out of your breath, so exhale, so inhale, and then as you exhale, pull that leg in a bit more and feel the stretch. Inhale, ease it off slightly, and then exhale. So this is when we're really going to start lengthening this muscle. Drive your heel up to the floor, the floor, the ceiling, and bring your toes down so they're coming pointed down towards your head. Take your hand to your thigh and push against your thigh and try and lengthen a bit more. Gonna inhale. As you exhale, you're really gonna start to lengthen that leg. Inhale and exhale. And one more, inhale and exhale. Well done. And then that leg is gonna come over, over your knee for a glute stretch. So you, for this one, you can pull this leg in here. You're going to be pushing your knee away to try and feel it in your glute. So this supporting leg is driving in towards my body. It might be you're quite flexible and you could grab that foot and push back. So inhale and exhale. Push that knee back so you can feel the stretch. Inhale and exhale. And then we're going to go back into a spinal twist. I'm just going to whiz myself around so I can show you. So you're here, and then this foot here is going to come onto the floor, but you only take this to where you feel comfortable, and then you start to go back into that spinal twist. But it's a bit of a deeper twist because we're using the glute stretch to help us to go in. And then inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then bring it back up. And then we take the other leg up for the hamstring stretch. Feeling the back of your leg stretch. You can push against your knee. And you inhale and exhale. So you always want to be trying to increase the stretch as you exhale. And that's going to help to lengthen your muscle. And when you're stretching as well, you want to try and work in partner muscles. So the first part of when we're doing the stretch, I would keep trying to work in um, partners of the muscles, so your front and your back. So you're working the muscles together, so it helps with your posture as well. So inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So with this partnership, we're doing the hands. We did the glutes and the lower back, and then soon we'll be doing your glutes and your hip flexors. It's all just like a jigsaw. Last stretch and that hamstring, inhale and exhale. And then you're coming down for that glute stretch again, so your legs coming up and pulling that foot in towards me and pushing this knee away. If you do have a sofa or a wall by you, you can always use them to help you push a little bit as well. That's it. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then we come back to the twist again. I'm just moving around so I can show you. So this foot is going to come down onto the floor again. And then I'm going to bring that knee over enough so it doesn't hurt, but feel comfortable and a nice stretch on my back. And inhale and exhale. Inhale. 
and exhale. That's it, well done. And then come up and just give yourself a tuck and come up. So you're gonna take one knee in and take it up underneath your armpit and your other leg is gonna extend and you're just gonna squeeze in. So I'm putting pressure in this knee, stretching out here and just stretching inside my leg. And I'm taking my leg out to the side towards you. So I'm coming out and my leg's coming up and to the side. It's quite hard to show you this line though. And I'm just going side to side. So I'm bringing my knee at an angle. So it's coming out that way. And it's going up underneath my armpit. I'm trying to stretch up there. So we'll come onto our, um, onto our front. So we're going to stretch off our quad. If you're struggling to reach your quad, you could use your towel. So you loop it and then you hold it here. Or it might be you can, you can grab it, whatever it's fine. So come down here, pop your hand on your forehead and just let yourself lie there. And you're going to lengthen the front of your leg, your quad. Inhaling and exhaling, and you're squeezing your hip into the floor of that leg that is being stretched. And it's as if you are lengthening your knee away from your body. So you inhale, loosen off, and as you exhale, you increase the stretch. You inhale, as you exhale, you increase that stretch. That's it. Twice more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then come to the other side. If you need to loop around your leg, loop, loop, loop around your leg, fine. And then again, inhale and exhale. So I'm driving that hip down. Your, hand, your head can be on the floor. My head isn't because my voice would be very muffled. Inhale and exhale. So we're gonna develop the quad stretch now. So you're gonna come up into all fours. If you have got a cushion, you might want to put it underneath your knee because it just supports your knee. If you've got a chair or a sofa or a dog or someone, you can hold on to the side. So you sweep down to get your foot and you come up. And so this is working slightly different muscles in your quad and you're starting to get more into your hip flexor here. So my hip is squeezing out there and I'm inhaling and exhaling. And you can pull that foot up towards you, pushing out. And then with the other hand, you can, if you want, stretch back. You're opening up here as well. That's it. And then change to the other side. And then coming down. And up, so again, stretching here in the front of your quad. And then if you want to, you can reach up. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And so taking this again a little bit further, you need your towel or your band for this one. Um, keep your knee on the floor, especially if you have sore knees. And I'm going to change my position of this a little bit. Come back. So this one, some people know this one. So you're coming back and you're reaching, you're opening up your chest. So I've got a chest opener, I've got a hip opener back. So it's a really nice combination movement. So I'm sinking in here and then I'm coming back and I'm lifting up my foot and I'm putting the band around my foot and coming down. So I've got two movements. I'm coming forward and I'm, whoa, <laughs> and I'm coming back, sinking in and down. So those who are happy with that movement, if you start, those who want to make it a little bit simpler, forget the, the stretch and just come down and then rock back, put your hand here. So you've got, you're opening up the back of your leg again and your front of your leg. So this is a really nice dynamic stretch to do before you're exercising. So before exercise, a dynamic stretch, it's a moving stretch, not a static. And then we're gonna slow this down now so it is gonna become more static. 
So the next time you come here, you're going to come here where you feel comfortable. You're going to inhale and exhale. You're going to hold it here. If you feel wobbly, have a wider base. Open your chest up. Bring your chest, your arms right back and just feel your body stretch into the movement for four, three, two, one. Lovely. And then take the towel or the band around your foot, keeping your chest up and into the stretch here. It might be you can grab your foot and you come down and you just inhale and exhale here for six, five, four, three, two, one. So I can feel it in the back of my leg. And then we'll change around and come to the other side. So again, for the dynamic movement to start with. So you're coming forward and back and then coming. But if, if there's too many movements, break it down and just come forward for your hip flexor and then come back and grab your foot. So you can break all these movements down. So stretching means something different for everyone. Everyone's muscles are different. Everyone's got different tight bits. Just making it work for you. But this combination movement, you're, you're able to tick a lot of boxes in your stretching. And it should feel quite nice. So one more dynamic and then we'll hold. Lovely. And then we'll hold. So the next one when you come up, you're gonna hold. Let your arms come back, but of course if that feels too much, take the arms away and just focus on the leg. Inhale and exhale for six, five, four, three, two, one. Then come down and feel your hamstring stretch now and your calf actually as well as so you pull your foot towards you. Inhale and exhale and relax for six, five, four, three, two, one. One, nice. So a similar movement to this is when you're holding here and you're gonna bring your leg up and try and get the right angle for you. So I'm walking my leg up to my hands and I'm gonna stay in this position here. So I've got one leg up, one leg back and I can have my knee on the floor or I can have it open and you look up and down and you're going to stay on one side so you're coming up and down now if you can you bring your elbow down so my lovely friend Rosie and um, yoga, yoga Rosie when she does this her elbow is right down here but I have such tight hamstrings I don't get it right down so you're opening up and down so you've got um, a rotation of your back and then you're coming down and you can feel a stretch in your leg as well. And just play with that movement. So again, this movement is gonna mean something different for everybody. Some people will find this really challenging and some will feel it quite easy. If you're feeling easy, bring that leg back and come right down into the movement and sink in. So we're taking it up and down, lovely. And then change around. So you have one leg in line with your hands, the other leg back. Your knee can be bent on the floor or can be coming up and then up and down. And what you might find is that one side is much tighter than the other side. So this is my tight side and my elbow is nowhere near to the floor. <laughs> so coming down and up and you might find different muscles are tighter on different sides. So that's why it's so important for us to stretch and to move our bodies. So use your inhale and your exhale. Your inhale and your exhale. Nice. Inhale and your exhale. So just two more. Coming right up and see how far you can get down with that elbow. And then come back down to your cat cow and squeeze in and out. Okay, so this one is always quite tricky to show on Zoom. 
So you come down and you're going to lie down and your arms are going to come wide. So some of people will know, will know this one. Sadly, we're not in the same room so you can demonstrate for me. So my arms are wide and my leg closest to you is going to come up and over and away. So I can feel this twist in my back and then my hand nearest to you comes up so I can feel the stretch in my shoulder. So I've got two lots of stretch going on. I've got my lower back and I've got a shoulder opener here as well. So I'll just show you again. So I'm lying down like a T. My leg closest to you comes up and over and my hand closest to you comes up to the carpet and I can feel this opening in my stretch, in my chest, and my shoulder. And then you go to the other side. So now my leg furthest away from you comes up and over. My hand further away from you comes up and over so you can feel it in my shoulder. And just play from side to side. Again, just explore that stretch, explore that movement for yourself. See what it means for you. See if you can get that leg to go a little bit further back, opening out. Yeah, should feel quite nice. Then, and then come back up and just wiggle around here. Okay, slightly different stretch now. It's for your arms. You come up. And your hands, so your hands here, one hand is facing up and one hand is facing down. And I'm going to twist from side to side, again, focusing on my shoulders and easing out. So I'm just going to go for four more. Four, three, two, one. And we'll come back to that stretch again, but we're going to come to our adductors first. Now this one, if you've got something close to you, you might want to use something to go against. So for example, um, on the sofa, I can have my feet side to side of the sofa to work this a little bit more. So you're gonna try and keep your chest lifted and you're just gonna to come to the front and you're just gonna breathe. So I'm working the insides of my legs here and I'm just gonna inhale and exhale. Then I'm going to walk to the side and I can use my band in coming down to inhale and exhale. I'm keeping my chest lifted the whole time. If you can, grab your foot from the inside or the outside and then take it to the middle again and then take it to the side. Then inhale and exhale. And again, take it to the front. Now this time, if you can, grab both feet, grab both feet and come down, or just let yourself relax there. And inhale, and exhale. And then take it to the side. So either hands on your leg or around your feet and just stay down, try and crease that stretch a bit more. Try and pull a little bit further and hold it there for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it up and take it to the other side. So either grab your foot or take it down and stretch it down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then developing that stretch more, popping your feet together, getting your elbows into your legs and you're inhaling and exhaling and really increasing this stretch. If, you, if you're really mobile here in your hips, come over and then come into your frog stretch. So you're coming up and over, but don't overextend yourself too much in this stretch. And inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. And then lengthen out. I'm going to extend your hamstrings again. So grab your towel or your band. You're going to pop it over your feet. I'm going to wiggle back. So for this one, it's a static stretch. We inhale, we exhale, we come into the stretch and we stay down for a count of 10. And then we come out back into a count of 10. 
So we're going down for three lots of 10 to really encourage um, stretching out those hamstrings. You want to keep your chest up, try not to round your back off. Okay, so inhale. As you exhale, come down into the stretch. That's it, for 10, nine, eight, seven. So see if you can lengthen into the stretch during that 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done, release off. So the next 10, during that 10 seconds, you want your muscles to relax as much as you can. The more you relax, the longer you're gonna get into that stretch. Okay, inhale. As you exhale, go down into that stretch. The 10, nine, eight. So you can go a bit deeper. Seven, six, five, deeper. Four, three, two, one. And release off. Use your shoulders off. And then it's the last 10. So inhale and come down. So you should be able to go down further than you did when you first started. If you can grab your feet, that's great. Or walk yourself down. If you're here, walk yourself down on your band and go further and further. Another four, three, two, one, and release off. Well done. Bring yourself up to cross-legged and we'll just stretch off your chest and your sides. So here, coming down to the side, you're gonna push your arm back, you're gonna look up to the ceiling, pushing your towel or your band away, and you're just gonna stay here, and you're gonna inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So stay here, stay with your inhale and your exhale. Drive your lower hip into the floor. Really open up that side. See if you can take the hand back away from your body. Inhale and exhale. And bring it up and take it to the other side. Then looking up to the ceiling, bringing your hand up and back, inhaling and exhaling. Try and increase that stretch as much as you can. So each exhale, you're trying to drive that hand further up and away, taking it further back, looking up towards the ceiling, opening your body out into the stretch, exploring the movement. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then come up. So it's for our shoulders. Uh, you're going to pop your hands. Your fingertips are facing down towards the floor. You're going to come up into a forward fold and then you're going to bring your shoulders over. So in this position here, I'm just letting my shoulders sink. My hands are coming up and over towards my head. And you might need to look at this one. And then I'm going to take it to the side and open. So it's a really nice shoulder opener. And then come to the middle. And then taking it to the side again. So just that slight twist in the movement adds so much to the stretch. When you're in the middle, let your hands come down towards the floor and then take it to the side. Take it to the middle. And take it to the side. And then release the band down to the floor and let yourself just hang in forward fold. Taking a deep breath in. And out. In. And out. So slowly come up slightly and you're going to come to the side and you're going to stretch in this side of the leg here. So I'm sinking to the side. I can put my hands on the floor if you wish and then sink to the other side. And then from here, we're going to go into the pigeon. Let's do each side again. And then from here, we're going to go into pigeon. So you're in your front support, sweeping your forward leg through, coming down, and you're going to lie down and just relax into that position. So just slowing down into the stretch. If this is uncomfortable for you, you could have both legs bent and just lying down here. 
So make it comfortable for you where you can hold that stretch. Wiggle your hips into the movement where you can feel it. Try and get the back leg to walk back a little bit more. And then let your body completely succumb to that stretch. So you can feel the stretch perhaps in your glutes and the inside of your leg. And just focus on that inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And one more inhale and exhale. And then come up and change sides. So bringing your foot up if you can, and then come down. Your inhale and exhale. Let your head just relax down onto the floor. Wiggle your hips around into the movement to deepen the stretch. Inhale and exhale. And then from here, we'll come into a child's pose. So your back toes are together, your knees are out, and you're going to reach forward, forehead on the floor, and let your body relax into that stretch. So you just come down, take a deep breath in, and relax into that child's pose. Then inhale and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Try and reach forward with your hands a little bit more to engage that stretch, and then relax down again. See if you can widen your uh, knees to increase the stretch slightly, and then with that exhale, trying to go into that stretch a little bit more. And then slowly bring your knees up into, uh, into cat cow. So again, just squeezing your back down and up. So sinking your back down and up, down and up. And circle your hips as well one way and circle them the other way. And so we're going to lie on our back for another spinal twist. So we'll start off with a glute stretch first, and then we'll take it into a spinal twist. So with the glute stretch, slightly similar to what we did before, but grab that leg now and bring it towards you. See if you can feel it in your glutes. You might find it more comfortable by pushing your knee away. Inhale and exhale. And then again, this foot here, let it lead over and then come down and feel the twist. And let your body completely relax down there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then come back up into your tuck and change legs over. So back into your glutes. So see if you can grab the supporting leg. And feel it in your glute. If you need to have a slight movement in it, inhale and exhale. And again, with this foot here, let it come over so it's leading the movement for your spinal twist. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then bring yourself up to a tuck and just let yourself rock back and forth. Take your knees around to a circle. So we're going to go into a guided relaxation. So if you've got a blanket or you want to dim your lights um, just to get yourself comfortable. And um, so we'll do guided relaxation when you just get to lie down. Um, I love it, everyone's lights are going off and everyone's getting their blankets and getting comfy. And when we come out of the guided relaxation, we'll do um, a shoulder mobility and a neck mobility so you don't feel stiff after it. So take a deep breath in and out. Let yourself lie down and feel relaxed. 
and you're just going to start to focus on your breath. So find a relaxed position, lying down is probably the best position if you can. Get comfortable and just let your body start to relax down. Take a deep breath in. And out. Take a deep breath in. And out. So inhale, feel your scalp and your head start to relax. And as you exhale, let this tension go away. As if you're breathing in relaxation and exhaling any tension. So start by feeling your neck and your shoulders relax as you inhale. And as you exhale, just let them go. Feel your muscles release their hold, relaxing fully. Letting the exhale of your breath travel through your neck and your shoulders. Inhale, as you exhale, let all the muscles in your face release. Let your eyelids feel heavy. Let the muscles in your face relax. You're breathing in the relaxation and letting your body just ease. Allow your chest and your upper back to relax and release the tension as you exhale. Release any tension in your stomach and your lower back. Release your glutes and your hips and your pelvic area. Release your legs. As you inhale, feel your upper legs relax, letting the muscles of your legs completely let go as you breathe out. Then take in another breath, drawing in the relaxation. And then let the breath go all the way down to your feet, letting your legs go limp and relax as you exhale. So let yourself daydream. Daydream yourself to a place that's very beautiful to you. Very peaceful and very safe. Begin by paying attention to your breathing and let yourself take a few nice, deep, full breaths. Let yourself breathe deep into your stomach, breathing your, bringing your breath all the way down into your belly and allowing your out breath to let go. With that exhale, you're beginning to release any tension, discomfort, any distraction that you don't need to hold on to. Just using your breath to begin shifting your attention from the outer world to your own inner world. And just take a five minute break and go to a place that's peaceful and beautiful. Let yourself imagine when you breathe in, you're breathing in fresh energy and oxygen that's flowing through the whole of your body. And imagine that with every exhale, with every out breath, you just let go of a little bit more tension, a little bit more discomfort and a little bit more distraction. So you're breathing in energy and relaxation and you're letting that out breath be a real letting go of tension. 
Allow your eyes to feel heavy and soft. And pay attention to your inner world. Let any outside sounds around be in the background. And imagine yourself going to a place that's very beautiful to you. Very peaceful, very safe and very secure. A place that you feel really good to be at. This might be a place you've been to in your life or maybe a place you visited before in your imagination. It can be a new place, some combination, it doesn't matter. As long as the place you're imagining is very beautiful to you, very peaceful, very safe, a very nice place to be for a few minutes. Look around and notice what you imagine seeing in this special, quiet, peaceful place. Notice the colours and the shapes. There's more than one place that comes to mind. Pick one that interests you and then visit it. Notice a feeling of peace within your body and the relaxation and allow that feeling of peacefulness and relaxation and comfort to be there. Allow yourself to relax and allow yourself to feel that relaxation and that peacefulness. Taking your breath in and taking your breath out. And then take yourself to your breath and just notice how it feels as you inhale and you exhale. Scan your body from the top of your head all the way down your body to your toes and take note of any tension you feel in your body. You might feel tension in your body that you've never noticed. Inhale and use an exhale to release any tension. As you exhale, vocal, so choose a word to focus on and vocalise during your exhale. The words like safe, calm, relax can be effective. Imagine your inhale washing over you like a gentle wave. And imagine your exhale carrying negative and upsetting thoughts and energy away from you. Using that word as you exhale, like safe, Calm, relax. When you get distracted, gently bring your attention back to your breath and your words and your safe place. Focus on your body, just relishing in the relaxation. Inhale and as you exhale, again let your face relax. Release your mouth, your jaw, your eyes. Release your brow. Inhale, as you exhale, release your neck and your shoulders and let them melt into the floor. Let your breath travel through your arms all the way down to your fingertips. Inhale, and then let your breath travel through your back from the top of your neck all the way down to your coccyx, releasing your back and your vertebrae as you go. Again, imagining your inhales washing over you like a gentle wave and your exhales carrying away negative or tension away from you. Then inhale as you exhale, release your hips, your pelvis, your glutes, and let them melt into the floor. And then again, inhale, and as you exhale, let that breath just flow through your legs, all the way to your toes.
So inhale, for one, two, three, four. Hold that breath and then exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale for one, two, three, four. And exhale for four, three, two, one. Inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold that breath and exhale for four, three, two, one. Allow your mind to feel calm. As it starts to wander, then just pull it back to your body and just focus on your body and how you feel right now. Focus on how your mind feels on your body. You should feel relaxed and at ease. Take your hands up to your head and just put your hands on your head around your scalp and give yourself a little scalp massage as if you're washing your hair and just use your thumbs and your fingers to do little circles just to gently scalp massage your head. Taking your thumbs to your temples with little circles. Taking your thumbs or your little finger down to your jaw joint. And just feel in there. Taking your thumbs down to the bottom of your um, scalp. And then bring your hands to your face. And just now little circles with your fingers, just a little massage on your face, all around the edges of your face. Then take your hands down to your chest and just have a cross on your chest with a deep inhale and exhale. So deep inhale and exhale. Two more breaths, deep inhale and exhale. Very slowly bring your legs up into a tuck and just rock yourself forward and back. And then when you feel ready, come up into all fours. And just rotate your shoulders when you're ready. Take your hands and just mobilize your shoulders and really soft. Change direction. And just finishing with your neck. Let it rock to the front and to the side. To the front and to the side. Bring your head up and take a deep breath in and then exhale out. Deep breath in and exhale out. Well done. Hopefully you're awake. <laughs>